morning. I feel equally crap today. Um, yeah, so there's there's a lead. Well, it's not a lead, it's a deal now for an HMO that um, I want to take on. And I really can't take it on because I've just taken on another property and it would make my overhead too high and I'm not getting profit on the other property yet. So, so really I've got to hand it on to minimize my risk of going bankrupt, quite frankly even though I really want to take it on because <laughs> I've worked really hard to get the lead to get the to get the lead which is now a deal yeah yeah so I need to sell it on which is not ultimately a bad thing because it gives me an injection of cash right now and I'm going to need that injection of cash because I'm not going to get a job when I graduate because I can't I already have a full-time job with this lot yeah I think most people they graduate and then they go and get a job um, but me, I get a job and then I graduate and the overlap is causing significant issues. So yes, I'm going to see if uh, somebody else wants it and I hope so, because I want it. Yeah, so it should be in fairly high demand. Sell on this 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 deal. I might do that again because if I can get a few more thousand pounds sitting in my bank account, that would be really helpful because the business will just suck it all. A few thousand pounds in my normal everyday life goes so far, but in the business, it's just, you know, one month's rent here, some bills over there, returning investor funds there, and that's it, and it's gone, which is just crazy to me. It's crazy to me. But yeah, I'm gonna to attempt to do that today. I have my WhatsApp inbox is just inundated. There are 38 messages this morning in my WhatsApp inbox, and it's really, really hard to keep on top of it. And yeah, and two of my vices really are, although it is necessary, it's really necessary to have a presence on social media it is also becoming my hamasha my fatal flaw is you know just the, the track of social media is just disrupting my sleep so we're gonna have to do some new things N little to no electric light in the house so my body is and uh, my circadian rhythms and melatonin levels are are guided by sunlight and natural daylight and no wi-fi in the house so that i just don't i don't i don't go on the internet i don't go on social media and i can actually get the sleep that i need so i can get up in the morning and hustle and then get through my uni work i'm gonna try i'm gonna try um yeah and this is i would say the first time in my life where the the challenge that i'm i'm faced with it may or may not be beyond my current capacities and i feel extremely pressured and i'm crying I would say every day at the moment <laughs> with this. And I have some brilliant, incredible, supportive, loving friends um, who who comfort me and hold me and listen to me and hear me uh, when I cry and, you know, and yeah, and repeat back to me, you know, the, the words that I say and affirm how I feel. So, you know, that's just, that's just the rock. <laughs> that's just the rock at the bottom of all of this is just having incredibly supportive friends and colleagues and peers. For my degree, I really want to do a project on social constructionism with respect to gender. Yeah, basically, I, yeah, I don't know very much yet, but an idea about how gender is is um, a social construct that is imposed upon our fragments of reality in a kind of Adornian sense. Yeah, and I really wanted to explore that. You know, if it's a structure, what happens if you alter the structure of it? It just, it, this whole this whole thing fascinates me. You know, this this stuff that the modern world is doing with gender, I just, I find it, I find on an, in an anthropological sense and a philosophical sense, I find it really fascinating. However, I can't get it to fit into any of my topics. My topics are noise, the philosophy of noise, the philosophy and science of morality. I don't remember the rest of them. Ah, the philosophy of contradictions, of true contradictions and heroism. And there's something else I don't remember, but it doesn't seem to fit into any of them, which is really annoying. Yeah, but there we go. Yeah, I'm just living this dual life of the property world, which might potentially make me enough money not to go broke. <laughs> and then, yes, and then this, this, um, uh, world of, of this this intellectual space to explore of philosophical ideas which really sets my soul on fire well that and the ways that I can use my intellect and my knowledge and my wisdom to um, counsel and support and help and inspire other people so yeah fun day ahead it will be another day of firefighting which I can't say I'm looking forward to quite frankly but I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna do what I can do and that's that's all I have that's that's all I have in this in this mad world of the startup with my very high risk of going bankrupt and you know all of my fears and all of my inadequacies and all of my shortcomings and all of the people chasing me up and all of the pressure that's all I have I can just do the best I can do and we'll see we'll see and I'm gonna be okay <laughs> right I have decided I'm going to reframe how I see today 
Today is not going to be, you know, a struggle. It's a struggle, it's a war, and there's nothing that anyone's giving. Yeah, I, today is not going to be a struggle. I'm not gonna have a miserable day. Today, I'm going to enjoy the beauty of the hustle, right? Because this is a time in my life that I'm gonna look back on a few years from now and be like, you go queen, like, <laughs> because this is the bit, this is the dip that is gonna get me into financial freedom. Remember, we're on the road to financial freedom. So, so, you know, I'm just going to appreciate that this period is difficult, but this too shall pass. So, yes, so I'm gonna enjoy um, the adventure and know that it's all gonna turn out well. Yeah, because I have so much trust in my abilities. Uh, I am competent and capable and driven and ambitious and it's going to go well. You know, there might be some bumps in the road, but long term it's going to go well. So I'm gonna look back at this video, this very video in several, several years from now and I'm gonna go, honey, you got this. You were scared and freaked out and nervous at the time and it was all too much and you were crying all the time, but, but, but it's gonna be so great. Why can't you just enjoy the process? Why can't you just enjoy the now in the knowledge that it's gonna work out? It's gonna work out. Just, you know, have faith in that. And you know, this is why I started documenting this journey because if, you know, it's it's this what if, what if it all goes wrong? Well, if it all goes wrong, well, never mind, right? But what if it works? And if this works and I get financially free and I never have to get a nine to five job in the rest of my life, if this works, then this is the only opportunity I get to really enjoy that journey. So, so I'm gonna have a fun day. I'm gonna enjoy my day. 